There's nothing worse than a breakdown in sales marketing uh, integration. It creates warring camps, it hurts people's feelings, and it just kills productivity. It's a big topic, as you know. There are books written on this whole issue. And um, I think, though, when you boil it all down, when you, when you cut to the chase, the problems start when people on both sides aren't communicating and holding each other responsible for what they've agreed to do. Now, I don't mean to suggest even for a moment that this is an issue of personal responsibility, a breakdown of people themselves not doing what they're supposed to do. It happens, of course, but I think the real problem is when there aren't very clearly delineated responsibilities that are very expertly communicated to everybody and that can be then modified as circumstances change. My old friend Joel Broyhill is a big fan, a big believer in this idea that everybody in the company is responsible for sales. And he's right. I mean, you can't have salespeople stuck on an island like, where's my revenue? And they don't get the right products and they don't get the right marketing materials. You can't have that. But I actually think it goes beyond that. As both sides go about the daily business of planning and executing on their plans, both sales and marketing, I think what's really needed is a formal written service level agreement, an, an SLA between the two groups on what they will be doing, what they will be delivering, when it will be delivered, and the quality of what will be delivered. I think you need that sort of input from both sides, not only in the planning process, but also in the execution process. Ideally, both sides have been involved in the other's plans. They know exactly what the other side is doing at any given time, lots of visibility, lots of visibility there. And they're also held accountable for the things that they are signing up to deliver. I've seen this work extremely well at very different organizations, although to be truthful, I've never actually seen a formal written document that governs this, this agreement between both sides. But is that commitment and the shared responsibility for sales and marketing and a commitment to holding each other responsible and providing the guidelines for doing so? Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Uh, we'll get a conversation going about this. I know that people feel very strongly about this issue, so I'd love to see what the comments are. And in the meantime, uh, be sure to like and share this video if you, if you uh, enjoyed uh, watching it, if you found it useful. If you're not already following me on this channel, please do so. I encourage you to, to do so. The more, the merrier. And until later, my name is Paul Gannon. I work for ThoughtCast Media. We'll see you later.